Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 8th through the 14th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid. This could happen the week after. It could happen at any time. So, could, you know, this is just an energy that I am picking up on, but that's going to come in for you at some point, okay? But keep in mind that not every reading is for you, so take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. Now they came in this order. So they came in this order. I just fell on the floor. My fingernails. Okay, so they come with a period of prosperity and abundance. Okay, that's the beginning. But you need to be careful. You need to be careful because there could be a loss of that abundance. And you are involved in a tense situation by the looks of things. Or you could be in the near future. Alright, so period of prosperity and abundance. Take care or there will be a loss. You are involved in a tense situation, and I think that you're very worried about it, okay? Let's get one of these. What do we have for Capricorn? What do we have? Oh, there it is. Ooh, it's the Judgment card. It is the Judgment card. So it says New Beginnings. It's the 20. It is Judgment. We can get it rid of that if it will focus, and it doesn't really want to. There we go. Archangel Jeremiah or Jeremiel. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, forgiving a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So this is judgment. So you know there's going to be a review of the past. Um, we do have a new beginning here, starting a new life. This is a profound life change. It is the end of things. Um, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So there is going to be a review. There's going to be a review of past actions. Okay. This is also a card of karma. Okay. So we do have a new beginning here. Judgment is also a card of acceptance, release and absolution. So this is the end of things and the end of things sparks a new beginning. So you definitely have a new beginning here. There could be some sort of judgment that is made that sparks this new beginning. This, um, hmm. six of swords reverse. Now that is refusing to take a new approach. We have somebody here that is very troubled. They're troubled and they're and they're staying put and they need to move on. And it has to do with the past. But their past judgments, their past, you know, their past judgment calls. So somebody is very troubled, troubled over their past decisions. Now they have to release, accept, and make a change because judgment is profound change. Anyhow, um, refusing to move on, stuck. Stuck in a very troubled place, stuck in some sort of trouble. Somebody could be getting in trouble. They could be getting in trouble. This is trouble, okay? But this is being judged. So there's going to be some judgment that is made. Hangman, thinking about everything that has happened, enlightenment, punishment. I don't know if there's some sort of punishment coming. I mean, the hangman is about punishment. It's sacrifice. It's wasting time. It's thinking about everything uh, unwilling to budge, unwilling, you know, this is a martyr, willing to die with this thought, you know, um, to prove a point. We, this is in the past positions. We have somebody here that really wants to prove something. 
they're sacrificing themselves to prove something very very troubled we have somebody here that is troubled that needs to look at things from a new per perspective this is somebody that is really struggling they are struggling to let go of something and it's a mindset it is definitely a mindset you have to accept release and allow there is judgment that is coming for trying to prove something. This is trying to prove something. Thinking about it, not willing to budge. <laughs> Strength reverse. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is out of control. Lack of respect for others. We have somebody here that is very, very forceful that is trying to control a situation. They are in their ego. This is somebody that is in their ego that is very controlling. They are troubled. They are troubled. Somebody is troubled in this reading and there's going to be judgment that is passed. Um, and there is somebody from the past that is very controlling, a very manipulative, a lax respect. There's some sort of fear here. There's ego. And there's no victory because of that. There's no victory here. There's no victory. Hmm. Carol Font. There's a higher power involved. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Now, this is God. This is somebody that has a direct connection to God that has some sort of... Uh, I feel like there's some sort of gift here. The Hierophant is faith and trust, believing in oneself. We have somebody here that has a lot of faith that is, is protected. I feel like there's some sort of protection here, protecting, protected from a higher power. We have somebody here that is being protected. Um, direct connection to God, protected. Somebody is protected. They are protected from manipulation. They are protected from control. There's a higher power involved that is passing judgment. It is. It's mirroring each other. We have somebody here that is needing to go to a better place they need to get out of trouble you know they need to leave the troubled waters behind but they can't because of their thoughts you know they're thinking they can't change their thoughts but there's a higher power involved that is protecting somebody now the strength card reverse is out of control extremely manipulative very very forceful we have somebody here that has control issues and they're unwilling to take a new approach they're very very stubborn the higher power sees all. This is a higher power. This is karma. Judgment is karma. So there is some sort of judgment or ruling. You know, judgment is about a ruling that is going to be passed. Strength reversed. This is uh, cowardly behavior based on out of ego. We definitely have, and this is ego. We have somebody here that's very egotistical. Um, Maybe ill as well. This could be ill, sick. This could be mentally ill. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Now, Knight of Swords is some is a protector. This is somebody that comes rushing in very, very fast to take to take charge of a situation. So somebody is coming in really, really fast. And it is, they're being guided. Now, this could be somebody in the government. It could be, this is some, the Hierophant is the highest authority, even higher than the emperor. So we got somebody that is in a high position of authority, whether it's God or somebody else, that is, is uh, taking action. Somebody is definitely taking action. They're going to be rushing in. This is somebody that is on a mission to protect because I feel like this is protection. And this is just clarified that it was protection. There is some sort of protection that is coming in. And there is going to be a life-changing decision that is made because that's what judgment is. This is a verdict. This is the end. It is the end of a situation that leads to a new beginning. We have somebody here that has been staying in a situation that probably isn't very safe with the Six of Swords reversed. It's, it's very turbulent. Um, they've been trying to prove something that, you know, they needed to have a new perspective. They're trying to punish another person. 
trying to force their will on another person, but there's a higher power involved or the highest authority is getting involved. Could be the government, could be, uh, doesn't have to be though, could be somebody in the law, because this is universal. Anyway, near death situation. Um, this holding on is getting old. We have somebody here that is, uh, there's some sort of separation that is needed, but somebody has not been listening. They haven't been able to listen to any advice. And there is some sort of guidance that is coming as well. Protection, protection that is coming. This is a near death situation. Um, there's no, this is no life. This is no life. This is, this is, there's no, there's no life here, you know. Um, somebody is rushing in. They are. They are rushing in. They are taking charge. They are, they are going to do something. We have somebody here that is on a mission to protect in some way. Death card reversed. This is no life. It's not healthy. Something isn't healthy. Seeing very, very clearly that something isn't healthy. This is becoming clear of the choice. I feel like we have somebody here that is ill. I feel like there's some sort of punishment. You know, I don't know. Somebody's trying to punish another person because of their ego. This is ego and this is ego. And there's going to be judgment that has passed. Um... Seeing very, very clearly, clearly becoming clear of a choice. This is a card of consequences as well. Somebody's going to be dealing with some consequences over their actions. Hmm. Now, this is a battle that is over. A battle is going to end. This is victory after sorrow. So there is somebody that is going in a different direction. Okay, some because these two people are going in different directions. They are going after making progress. Somebody is going to be taking charge. They are ending a battle. This is the end of a competition. This is, this is a warrior here. This is a warrior that is that has a lot of support. Whoever this person is, this is somebody who has a lot of support that is uh, highly respected, that is going to be having a victory. They have had to fight some sort of battle. Whoever this person is, this person is going to have some sort of victory. They're, whoever has control right now is losing control. They are losing control. They are losing their power. This holding on is getting old. There's going to be a release. There's going to be a release. This week, somebody is going to be broken free from somebody's hold. They are going to be taking a new approach. There could be a, a, a higher power that is driving somebody in a new direction. You know, they're driving somebody away. Anyhow, Capricorn, I feel as though uh, you are going to be experiencing some sort of judgment this week, some sort of uh, awakening, because judgment is a card of awakening. Somebody's going to get an awakening. There's a higher power here that is protecting somebody that is very, uh, I mean, the death card reverse. This is, this holding on, it's getting old. It's time to release. It's time to go. You know, they've been confused. Somebody's been confused. They've been in an illusion. They've been overdoing it. They've been trying, they've been, maybe they've been drinking too much. I don't know. We have somebody here that has, uh, been making poor choices, but there's a higher power involved that is going to be guiding somebody or driving somebody in a new direction away from this troubled situation. This is this is trouble. It is trouble. Somebody is uh, 
needing to find their strength and their courage to let go. That's what they need to do. But they have been unable to do so because of pride, because of the ego. Maybe it's because of rejection. Rejection, and that's pride. That's pride. When you can't let go because you've been rejected, you've got to prove something because you've been rejected. That's what this is. But rejection, like I said in another reading, is God's protection. And there is protection here. It may nearly kill you to let go, but it's about acting with integrity and being emotionally honest and doing the right thing. It's about swallowing pride and being honest, being honest, being truthful. This is swallowing pride, being honest and truthful with yourself. So anyway, there is judgment that is going to be passed. There could be involvement with the law. This could be involvement with the law, whether it's the karma, karmic law or the earthly law. There could be involvement with the law this week or next. Whatever is happening, we have a wounded individual who has a lot of support that has had to fight. But this battle is coming to an end. We have an empress here, could be a Taurus or a Libra, who is very loving, who does everything with love, who is abundant and has everything she needs to create a new life. She is stable, she is valuable, she is abundant, and she is creating a new life. So we definitely have somebody here that is creating a new life, but before they create that new life, it's going to be painful. I think this is the week of experiencing the pain, the painful release. Good luck.